Your, your box is never as small as you think it is. I'd say it's sexual, but there really is something to that. Somebody had told me that analogy a long time ago is that we, we're perceiving that box, but that's so bullshit is the box is not ever as small or as closed off as you think it is, is that if you take the one step out, watch the person next to you, yes and that, and be like, yeah, and I've been having the same damn problem. And you know as well as I do, and everybody in this room knows that like, something weird about that familiarity, and I can't say that word either, but that word of familiar, <clears throat> of having a likeness, is that we, it feels better. In 2013, I went through a really disgusting breakup would be the best way to put it. And it was the darkest I'd ever gotten in life. I remember I was in the bathtub thinking about actually, actually, you know, taking, taking my own life in a lot of ways. I don't know if I would have, but it was definitely crossing my mind. And I started writing about it every day, publicly, where I was putting it up, because I'm not, I'm not private. So I was putting up publicly kind of the struggles I was going with. And what was bizarre was just how many other people were going through the same struggles. And some of them were menial. You know, what am I doing at my age? I think at the time I was 36 or 37, and I just didn't have any you know, wife and children, everybody else had that. And I was just kind of li trying to live up to what everybody else was doing. But I started writing about it and was really, really honest about it. And the crowds would laugh because it resonated with something like, oh, I've been through that. Truth and comedy, right? Is I've, I've been through that. In our community, the first rule of improvisation, which is the first thing they learn in anything would be make your partner look good. So my whole goal is that if I make you look good, you'll make me look good. If I'm gonna throw my cards on the table and there's gonna be judged for those cards, I'm not playing poker with those guys anymore and I can beat your ass in poker. But when it comes to things outside of that game and that table, I would hope people would have my back. And they don't, I just learned something about them. They're, they're probably not somebody worth being around in my life. Sometimes being depressed means you're making yourself more motivated where you're trying hard to get out of that rut. And the hardest part is doing the one damn thing that gets you moving. During the height of my depression, I turned in this silly, uh, cuff me 50 shades of gray parody. And I'm like, yeah, here's this thing. And I didn't think anything of it in less than a, two months later, it's being produced and playing off Broadway. And you just don't know what's gonna come back the next day. I mean, like that stupid thing that, that, that's not stupid is keep fighting. It's still a cliche, but it's also true.